All right, we have July picks from Ursula. I am so excited. So I'm just going to start by running through these. This is uh, basic gray knee highs and bow ties. These are some little wood um, tags, and they have some of them have words on them and lots of fun. So you can color these. Yeah, with a banner feel. Mm hmm. I like that. And another piece of wood veneer. This is from Studio Calico, the anchors and sailboats, which it's summertime, so I'm expecting to see some beach. So I got to get those in there. And Travel Girl Designer Brads. So these are fun. I love all the different patterns and colors in those. And I grabbed another pack of bat Brads because I couldn't <laughs> resist. Simple Stories, I Heart Summer Line. I'm loving the bright colors in this and the rainbows that they have. So again, here we have some more Simple Stories. This is a really fun pad because it has um, both 4x6 and 3x4 pieces that you can just pop out of there and use really, really easily. So I'm really excited to use those because I am finding that I need time savers because um, just like it's busy. Um, again, Simple Stories, I Heart Summer. These are the cutouts. So that's all these are die cut in there, six by four, and then some of them are three by four. So a couple different sizes there. So those are fun. All right, so these are L Studio stamps and I chose this particular set I wanted to show you why. Um, I got some self-adhesive paper and I took my Prima chalk inks and I inked up, so here I inked up this guy, and then I inked in a different color, the documented stamp, stamped it right on there. Now I have something that I can either glue it on like that if I want to keep the thickness or mm -hmm. I can adhere it because it's on adhesive paper. And that way you can create all these different little tags with a set like this, it's so versatile whatever the colors are that you need and you've got these um, and you can do it right on the page if you want but if you want it if you're nervous about stamping right I like project, that idea yeah you yeah. Can just you can just do it that way so I love this set because you can put any of these things inside of this little guy um, and these are just they're really really useful so cool it's gonna be really great I'm gonna be using that a lot October afternoon these are the label stickers from um, Travel Girl, I believe. That's good colors. Yeah, really versatile, easy to use. And these are from the Pier Pinwheels and Flags. I love, aren't those fun? All that glitter. Mm -hmm. Lots of fun there. And this is the Simple Stories I Heart Summer Chipboard. So a lot of really small pieces, which is why I chose this one because it'll work really well with the small um, size of the Project Life Canvas. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. And then Studio Calico. These are going back a little bit because, you know, we're waiting on CHA still. There's a lot, not a lot of new stuff coming in, but there's some really great stuff still in the store. So these, I think, came from Sundrifter and these great little label tabs. And here we go again, I Heart Summer. Loving these word stickers. And then you've got a few more with a little more shape to them and some great alphabets. These are really versatile. And then I pulled out some of the American Crafts um, cardstock because... It's really great for die cutting. There's some really fresh colors and these are just fun. So if you haven't got your stock of cardstock, make sure and look in the store for that. This is Canvas Core. Um, this is actually canvas. I love that. Isn't that fun? Mm -hmm. So I mean, I think it's just gonna make some really great accents. I'm really excited about trying that. And then this is the Fun in the Sun um, lay, uh, set from Echo Park. And so you'll see in here, there's lots and lots of individual cards that I can cut out. There's this great set of stickers on the back. So lots of pieces in there to use. It's going to be a lot of fun. And this is the Canvas Core um, wood grain paper, which I don't know if you can see yeah, I how think that so. is. But I wanted to show you, I cut some things out of it um, and then I inked them so you can see that wood grain. And these are the little letters. So you can see I just took my Prima, um, these guys, and just inked right over on top of that. And I'm going to show you the dies that I chose. So excited about these. This is from Memory Box. And it's this really, it's called, um, I think it's called Small Parker Lower Alphabet Set. And what I love about this, if you were a fan of the um, Sassafras Last Alphabets, I'm pretty sure this is the exact same font and it's oh. about the same size. Only now you can make it into whatever you want, color yeah. and pattern that you want. Um, and let me just show you the other die that I chose. 
that was another memory box and it's this Chloe stem and I love this. It's just so delicate and pretty. And so I've cut several of those out. I'm gonna be using these on cards, uh, just as a little accent. You can do it in white, whatever you want. I'm going to show you something else I did. I cut it out and then I used the cutout as a mask and I just um, misted on top of one of these cards. These are the Becky Higgins 3x4 grid cards that you can, it's already pre cut and everything, and then you can just ink on that if you want. A little. Yeah. Fun. Isn't that pretty? Yes. I love the way that looks. And you could do that with letters too. Yeah, because now you're going to see, I'll stop playing with your stuff if you, if you <laughs> let me. I'll suck putting in words on that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> totally. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then this is the um, arrow. Where'd it go? There's the edge. This is an arrow from uh, Travel Girl, the Ooh. tape. So I love, I love that design. Isn't that fun? Yeah. And then last but not least, I <laughs> kind of went crazy. It's your fault. I found these golden um, acrylic paints and they are so much fun. You can mix them with the, um, what do you call it? It's a modeling paste or molding right. paste. Molding paste. And um, you can get texture that you can then lay down on your page um, to and create. And a, a drop goes a long way. Yes. Yeah. I mean, you can color that white molding paste any you know with just a little tiny bit of this stuff. So and get some big shine. Yeah, great. It's all metallics. So That's fun. So there you go. Lots of fun this month.